hopefully it's camera doesn't spin off. <laughs> yeah, it will, it will, don't worry. Okay, okay, let's see what happens. Anchor, off. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like that, right? Untethered. <laughs> Yeah. Fire just screaming every damn way. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Auto files in the Brabus Smart hashtag one. You almost got it. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> so what's the correct name? It's Smart hashtag one Brabus. Hashtag one Brabus. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now I will explain the whole thing in under one minute. Okay, explain. If you don't know what Smart is, it's basically Mercedes saw BMW buy Mini and said, oh shoot, we have to do something like that. Yeah. So they created Smart with Swatch in 1998, I think. Yeah. Uh, and, and then they it, delivered a first set of Smart for 2, Smart uh, Roaster, Smart for Smart Cabrio, all the small, small ones. All of them failed. All failed. For yeah. 20 years, made yeah. zero ringgit, zero cent. Mercedes mm. also gained a reputation for being a brand killer with that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, because and Maybach, Ma 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 yeah. Smart, all same era, all failed miserably. Yeah. 2018, Geely started getting big, started yeah. buying shares of Mercedes. Right. And I don't know what happened behind the scenes, but the share buying stopped <laughs> and they came to an agreement. Mercedes-Benz would go into partnership with Geely. Okay. To make smart products. Okay. And so this is Mercedes parts. Okay. Cabin parts. Right. Mercedes design. Okay. Mercedes design language, Mercedes know-how. Yes. Uh, but Geely chassis. Geely chassis? production. GD okay. infotainment, GD systems. Okay, okay. Uh, what I'm not so sure about is whether the motors and the battery are GD thing or okay. Mercedes thing. The other half is when uh, Smart started selling cars, Proton said, oh, let's create a division to be the distributor for Malaysia and Thailand. I think they wanted Singapore also, but they didn't get it. Proton said they want to de uh, uh, be dealers for Smart. Not dealers, distributor. Distributor. Yeah. Who's the dealer? The dealer is, if I'm not mistaken, Hub Singh. So if you want to buy the car, you don't go to the Proton showroom. You go to Hub Singh's showroom. So the importers are are Proton, yeah. but uh, servicing and dealer and customer service Mercedes. is Mercedes. You go to a Mercedes showroom. Recently, that sounds like bad news, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, ProNet yes. is the distributor okay. selling through Mercedes. Okay. I think just Hub Singh only. So they launched three variants of this. Okay. the Pro Premium and the Brabus. They cannot fight the Chinese in terms okay. of pricing. They can't really fight Tesla in yeah. base model pricing, right. especially in terms of value. Right. But what they want to do is they go against the Tesla high-end and do the performance thing. Right. There is a Mercedes-Benz-ness about it. Yes. If I don't tell you it's Geely, you won't know it's Geely. And that's that's a testament to Geely. Yeah. And, and the partnership is because of cost. Otherwise, this product doesn't exist. Yeah. But that's the same argument for the Z... I mean, the Zupra. The Zupra. <laughs> but there's no real legacy. I think... The whole point of Smart to begin with was to give Mini some competition. Correct. And correct. I think they finally did a better electric Mini correct. than Mini but There itself. is a business model that make it work. Okay, yeah. fine. You know, the Zupra is a different uh, It's just it's just shameless. It's just shameless, yeah. yeah. This car has the Mini looks. I mean, you know like, they're yeah. aiming straight at 100 Mini. 100% yeah. Mini, yeah. But it doesn't feel as cheap as Mini. Yeah, Mini has some really cheap Bandai plastic. Ah, a real Bandai level, and it's very intrusive in terms of NVH. Mini can be a little bit tiring to drive right, in Malaysia. Mm. This, on the other hand, feels okay. That's the reason I haven't seen this. Is this thing won't be cheap. Isn't it? It's not exactly cheap, but it's not exactly fighting the premium, premium stuff. Huh? I okay. think it's well priced. Okay, let's see. All right, let's go for a drive. <laughs> If the camera swings around, it tells you the G-force that you're dealing with. Should I put it in Brabus mode? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Whoa! The camera is gone. <laughs> <laughs> the camera came up. <laughs> it's 420 horsepower. Okay, 420 horsepower. 543. 543. Yeah. How heavy is the car? The Brabus is 1.9. Oh, okay, la. it's like a it's like a 20-year-old S-Class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and actually the zero to hundred time is four. It edging on yeah, it's edging on supercar territory. Yeah. Three point nine seconds. Right? Oh that's fast. So back then you need a GT2 to yeah. reach this kind of speed, yeah. right? You know one thing I, I love about EVs yeah. is that they can be so civilized, right? Yeah. And yet when you push them, yeah. they just go yeah. straight away. <sighs> what away. Crazy, yeah. You can do one more put. Oh, this. Yeah. Ah, go. <laughs> that thing flew. It's like it's like that feeling you get when the airplane is taking off. Yeah. It's like the, the G force. Yeah. Okay, so performance. Yeah. Oh, what to say, man? Zero to hundred. Three point nine seconds. seconds. But feels like one point two. <laughs> <laughs> Zero to to fifty feels 
like instant. Mark. Yeah, instantaneous. Yeah, yeah. Uh. What's the top speed? Uh, 180. No matter what variant oh, they, they, they limit they it. Keep it yeah. oh, okay, okay. Uh, interestingly, this one and the mid spec one uses a, a nickel manganese cobalt battery. Apparently, the only advantage of that is it's very energy dense. For this size, yeah. they can pack as much range as is possible. Oh, I and see. And even then, it's only 400 km. Okay. Because the power is gila, eh? Yeah, yeah. I think if, they if they put a, a not so powerful AC motor, mm. would it have been better in terms of range? Well, then you get the mid-spec one, which is 440km. Oh, okay, okay. So, 40km extra, is it worth it? Might as well Bravo's in. Ah, well, let's go <laughs> Bravo's all the way. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've been driving it since Friday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gila, man. Yeah, so I've been driving it since Friday, yeah. going everywhere and all that. Yeah. Still got 40% range. Yeah, not bad. Performance. Yeah. Wait, gila, lah. nothing to say. Gila, yeah. complete madness. 4.5. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if it's 4.5, 4.8, oh, it doesn't matter. It's not 5 because the range is not great. Yeah. But other than that, I have no complaints. Yeah, besides the range, it's, mm. it's really, really top notch. The key is actually interesting. <laughs> I have to show you. The key, the key looks like the thing that oh, you know you order nice. food. Oh, <gasps> <gasps> yeah. <laughs> it's exactly the same design. By the way, so cute. Is, is there a place to perfectly fit this? Imagine there is a little cubby that just. Oh, the whole thing goes and in. The car starts. Oh, that'd be <laughs> nice. Cool. So, yeah, the way you start it is you just sit inside, press the brakes, and yeah. the seat will move. Hey. You see, you, your chair is moving forward. Ah, yeah? yeah. Once I close so the door. That means the car is started already. Okay. So, if you want to off it, you just put it in park, which is already in park. It's in park. And then you just open the door. And then the seat goes the seat back. goes back. The car is basically ready off. to be off. Yeah. And then you just walk away from it. I, I generally prefer a prop. A little, little bit of a prop. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's, let's shoot. <laughs> It is very striking. I think the two-tone roof only happens in certain variants. The base model doesn't have it. Okay. Yeah. What about the lines of red and things like that? Also That's also like... a Brabus thing. I see. Yeah. So when you look down here, you see all the, the red color stuff? Yes. That's all with Brabus. the Brabus spec only. I see. This light, you get it on all. La. But I think these slits are only for Brabus. I see. The nose grill. It looks Bulldog. basically like a mini. La. Huh? And it's not small. La. It's very wide. Mm. It's yeah? a typical mini look where it's proportion a bit funny yeah so it makes you think it's a small car from far away but it's actually big it's a c-segment car yeah with the boot the car will be actually quite sizable uh, another interesting thing about the design is the paint finish oh yeah this matte probably not going to be easy to maintain yeah it. good luck but you only see this paint finish on m cars oh that level of cars you know when wow. you're paying four five hundred thousand that's when you see it Right. Uh, AMG 63 cars would yeah, yeah, give you this kind of stuff. Yeah. And the front is very interesting, that, that flowy feel mm. is very Mercedes of current age. Yeah, you can see some elements of Geely-ness, like oh, the, where? the light show and all that. Oh, yeah. show me, show me. You get Oy. that oh, light show. You only see this hey, in China Chinese loves cars. it. Yeah, yeah, They love LED light shows. Look at that, the blinking. Yeah. Uh, and then at night, you see, this is actually light. All the red panels. Wow. Yeah. So there's like an LED thing going on. Oh, I can't really there. tell. Yeah, you only see it in the dark. Wow. Wow. Rims are what, 17? 18? It looks no, bigger 20. than 18. Looks like it's 19. 19. 19. Yeah, and the, uh, these tyres, you basically have to change every year. La. I can the imagine, I heard a lot of complaints about how EV eats through tyres, like yeah. hot knife through butter, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. The front half of the side really looks mini. Mm -hmm. It's like 90% mini. Mm. The only thing that is not mini is the shape of the headlights. The fact that it's mounted on the door like this, that's all very mini. Mm. The slab dual tone roof on top, 100% mm. mini. Only when you get to the back here, then you start to see a little bit of different, different character. Yeah. It's like wearing a, a, a cap hat. Yeah. <laughs> it's like wearing a you cap. This, funny hat. this is very stupid, <laughs> yeah. actually. I mean, this is a missed opportunity. You know? If you're going to go funky, why not make it pressable? And then when you press it, there's a sound. Like some, like some kids' toys, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and you notice the sunroof goes all the way to the back. Oh, nice. All Panoramic. The, yeah. the back here actually reminds me of Mercedes Benz. It has we the drove the EQS, thing. the back is like that. Yeah. All of them are like that. To me, it looks like a. <laughs> A perfect <laughs> reviewing <laughs> a location, bro. I go in the back. <laughs> so basically from the <laughs> You need to see the design from the right angle. Level and angle. <laughs> and of course the name, a bit controversial. You are late to the hashtag party yeah, by hashtag about game 10 was, years. It was literally 2012. <laughs> so besides that, a little bit of rubber spending in the yeah. back. Oh. Oh, oh, tiny. tiny. Yes. It's powered at least. Yeah. You get a Charging, charging cable. cable. It's yellow. Yeah. Hey, at least you got extra space down here. This thing can remove. Can remove. Uh. And then put where? Uh? Sell on Carousel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay, la. okay. But la. no China white, huh? Hey, surprise. Yeah. Why, why is there two mm. molding? The heck? Why is there two molding? Molding marks. Yeah. yeah this one here. So. Oh my goodness. Bandai. Oh, okay. So my, the seats don't adjust while you're back here. Okay. So this is not the actual seating position. La. But is this my driving position? It's not, it's not. But to be honest, la, anything better than this is perfect already. Mm. Okay. It doesn't feel claustrophobic. Mm. It feels okay. Yeah. The feet room is a little bit constricted. La. Other than that, it's okay. La. I mean, don't try to put three person here. Yeah. La. It won't yeah. work. La. The but nice thing is, I don't feel like they cheaped out in the back. Mm. So you still get two materials. Yeah, yeah. Auto up down at the back. USB A and USB C nice. at the back. Nice. And it's like surrounded by some lighting. Right. Then your foot, well, it's got lighting. Yeah. yeah, it's a bit compact, but it's not like space restrictive. Huh? No. Yeah, it's okay. Just the room is excellent. Let's go to the front, man. Oh, frameless windows. Uh, oh, nice. So I like I like this this little very high resolution small screen here that is just enough for you to see whatever information you want. Yeah. Because over here there's a huge screen with high resolution, very tacky, very nice, very smooth. Yeah. But why is it a box? <laughs> I don't know. There's a box there <laughs> with a parachute. Why? <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's some things I don't like. Even though the screen is really good, you need to use the screen for everything. I know. I know. Very you, Chinese. You, you want to go aircon? Yeah. It's, it's very here. Chinese. Right? Where is it? Door mirrors. Door mirrors. Uh, Door mirrors. You can use the buttons on the oh. right hand side of the steering wheel to adjust the angle of the door mirrors. Your Bluetooth is connected. connected. <laughs> how often do you adjust the proof? How, how, often, on, how uh, often do you adjust your side mirror if it's your personal car? Uh, depends. Some days I'm taller. If it's a hot day. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> but I adjust my climate control very often. Okay, I agree. Yeah. But if they permanently have an adjustment right here itself, the only complaint I have, there is no feedback. But it's, feel. it's not permanently there. Because if you go into Apple CarPlay, which is what most people oh, do, it crap. So you have to press that, you have to press Climate, and then you have to press Auto, and then you have to press Internal. Mm. That is five unnecessary clicks. You see, imagine if there is a button here that says Aircon Control panel that, that comes out at the bottom. Mm. No, no, for me, it has to be out. It has to be physical all the time. I don't care. You are welcome to come out from the stone <laughs> age. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is how you come out from the stone age. You take a parachute. <laughs> oh, I know why. Mozilla. I know why. I know why. It's not Mozilla. It's, it's because Mini has a bulldog now. AI assistant is a bulldog. Is it? Yeah. So, smart is a fox. A fox outsmart. The dog, the quick brown fox, jumps over the lazy dog, and Mini in this is the lazy dog. That is literally the saying that you, the thing that you type out when you're testing a keyboard because it uses every alphabet on the keyboard. So <laughs> Lee Shufu, right after buying Smart, is like he learned English and then go like, mm. Mm. you gotta, you gotta what jump is that over parachute? This. Smart was in free fall, losing money. Right, and then this is Geely. See the purple and the oh, yellow. Oh, purple is Geely, yellow is Smart. It is so tacky, bro. Shall we? Cover your ears. Oh, really? Yeah. Hi! I'm holding a camera! Oi! Wow! I presume this. outside is going like bling bling. Yeah, right? yeah. I think I read or saw somewhere that Tesla has a similar function. But no, man, don't do this kind of shit. Design, I actually like it from the front, okay. outside. It's good. I, li I like it. Yeah. yeah. In the back, there's a little taste of Mercedes-Benz. I think it's okay that they have this little nod towards Mercedes without mm -hmm. being overtly Mercedes. Mm -hmm. You know, if you know, you know that kind of thing. So I like it. I think it's a four on the outside because mm. it does have quite a lot of character. Mm -hmm. But the character is largely stolen from me. <laughs> Interior, it felt more premium than I expected. Okay. I expected some cut costs. Like a one series, two series. Yeah. Screen is big. Brabus branding is a bit unnecessary, I feel. But uh, Brabus is gaudy. Probably it's it's for people with money and no taste. Yeah, correct. Interior, I think they did a pretty good job because they did pay attention to like lighting and mm, it's nice, all this. It's nice. Thing. So yeah. inside also is a 4.2. But yeah, I find some of the stuff a little bit tacky. Mm. Like this whole like the fox planet <laughs> floating the planet. here and then there's like Reminds a me fox. Of some things, animations and all that, a little bit tacky. That's the mm. GD touch, I guess. Yeah. Uh, when you go into reverse, the camera is literally the same as Proton. 
360 camera. Oh, okay. You see the 54 cm there? It's exactly what Proton gives you. Um, exterior, I agree with you 100%. It's a 4.2, 4.3, 4.4. It's, it's very distinctive. I like it. Very naughty looking. Interior wise, I was not disappointed. I At first, coming into a Mercedes, I come in with some preconception. You, you get that sense that EQS is all about show. How can I make it maximum impact at the lowest cost? Mm. That's why everything squeaks and everything is just poor quality. Yeah. Here, it doesn't squeak. Sitting at the back, I don't hate yeah. it. It's okay. Inside here, it's pretty nice. Screwed well together. Interior is a 4.5. Actually, I'm more impressed with the interior than I am with the exterior. Overall, very high marks. Very, very, very impressive. Okay, let's do value. Value. Let's play guess the price. Yeah. yeah. I presume lah, 290. 290? Yeah. yeah. Okay, there's three variants. Okay. And it's trying to fight the Tesla Model 3. Okay, it starts at below 2 lah. Must ah. be lah. Huh? What's the first variant? How much is it? 189. Uh, it's very low. End. It's very low end. The, the that, range is damn low. The BYD is better yeah. at that price point. Yes. The battery range is less. The spec... What's the range of the bottom of this? I think it's it's 315. So you cannot... Uh, 315. That's effectively 250. Yeah. The, the, basically, the base model is pointless. Okay. Rear wheel drive. Because the power. seal base model is like already 500. 500 yeah. plus 550. Okay. So this one, the base one is 315. Then the mid-spec one has the most range. This one has lowered because, of the, power because of the power. Okay, the mid range one is what 500. <laughs> Not even 500. It's 440. Oh, they can't even reach 500. No. Okay. Mm. And this one is 400. This one is 400. Because of performance, but I have to say the performance is freaking crazy, man. Yeah. It's Gilawe. So it starts at 189. So and then the mid one is 220. 220. Yeah. This one adds basically the same battery, but adds one more motor. Adds one more motor, adds all the Brabus stuff. Oh, Brabus stuff lah. Ah, and then a uh, few more toys. Two, 280. This is 249. <gasps> yeah, that's it. This is the only model in the whole range that really makes sense. Whoa, what the hell? 249. Yeah. Oh, 249. Okay. Value is a four. In my, in my four. Excel sheet of EVs no. that make sense, this is this in the top is, ten. Huh? Yeah. Value is a four. It's not yeah. cheap because you really have very cheap stuff yeah. going around that is very attractive, like the seal. Yeah. Right. One seven nine. This one, it has a European brand. Okay. You know, okay. What other European brand can sell at this price? Right. Right. Nobody else. Nobody else. This particular variant, it has the niche, and that is the design, the branding, the power. I think I think they hit a business model that works. Yeah. Uh, but only for this model. Uh, the, only, the pro and the premium don't bother. I would not say. great. Yeah. You might as well just go seal or get a Tesla. Tesla get a seal, yeah. Yeah. This one has some, some specialness. Mm. Mm. Out of files, signing out of Brabus. Smart number one, Brabus. Smart by, hashtag, one, hashtag one, Brabus. Yeah. Is it? By ProNet. Brought to you by Hapsing Star. Hapsing Star and Proton. And yeah, ProNet. ProNet, okay, okay, cannot say Proton. Yeah. ProNet. Engineered by Gili. Engineered by Gili. Uh, wow, so many conflict. Yeah. Conv conv convoluted. <laughs> Such a convoluted product. But it works. I, I'm not gonna bash it, it works.